Releasing on October 13th by Amazon Studios and Blumhouse TV, Evil High has been directed by Ellen Dasani and Rajiv Dasani with executive producers Priyanka Chopra Jonas and Jason Blum and is being released as a part of Welcome to the Blumhouse collection of spine-chilling thrillers developed with an eye towards original genre telling. The movie depicts a perfect romance which turns into a nightmare when a mother, performed by actress Sarita Chaudhary, becomes convinced that her daughter's new boyfriend has a dark and mysterious connection to her own past. The film proudly features an all-South Asian cast and is created on traditional Indian mysticism and modern paranoia. A very exciting thriller, we spoke with lead actress of Evil Eye Sarita Chaudhary on her experience and her take on South Asians in the American film industry. Here is Sarita Chaudhary. Sarita Chaudhary, welcome to ITV Gold. How are you doing today? I'm so good. I'm so happy to be talking to you. Yes, of course. And, you know, we have you here to talk to us about none other than Evil Eye. What a fantastic movie. So thrilling, oh. such a psychological horror film. So my first question to you has to be, how did you adhere to your character who had so many shades and had a lot of journey to go through in this entire movie. How did you sort of, um, you know, go at the character? Yeah, she's a complicated character because I really wanted to start the movie being very um, almost traditional and, you know, the mother who's slightly overbearing, really protective of her daughter. Um, and then as her past is revealed and these secrets come out, then slowly the person she was in the past kind of comes into the present in her body, like in a way. And so it was, I really wanted to pull both off and make you believe that they're all the same person. It's just she never was able to tell her truth before. Yeah. What were some of the most challenging aspects of this movie when you were filming it? What did you really have to overcome to really make the character super authentic? Um, there was a point where I remember thinking, okay, don't fixate on, you know, is the sari right? Is my accent right? Am I cooking the dal in the right way? There came a point where I thought, the only way I'm going to do this authentically is if I have fun with this and make this character who I think she is. She's someone who could have had a different life. And now maybe later in life, she's able to start having that life. And so I let go of, you know, after doing all the research, I was like, I don't care. I need her to breathe. And I remember thinking, oh, this may not work out. <laughs> but yeah, it did. You know, what's really interesting about this movie, Sarita, is the fact that it's female-centered. Primarily, it's about the mother-daughter relationship and what your character's primary goes through. But it's also fully South Asian. But it's Indian American in culture. How amazing did that feel to have a movie such as that, where we just normalize the character? These characters could have been anything, anyone. But these were South That's Asians. So How true. does that make you feel? I think that was one of the most exciting things about it is we don't explain anything. Like you just begin the movie and you're either in Delhi or you're in my daughter's house in New Orleans. And I love that we never explained anything. And I felt what you just asked me, which was, oh, we're South Asians in a film that is such a universal theme but we're not hiding our South Asian-ness. It yeah. was such a great combination. Yeah, of course, I can only imagine that. You know, um, while I still have you here, I want to discuss a couple of scenes of the movie, if we can. What was some mm -hmm. of the most, uh, you know, when you were describing the incident to your daughter and when that entire thing uh, gets revealed of what has happened in the past, um, how did you prepare for, you know, scenes such as that? Because those are very serious. Mm -hmm. Those were hard because yeah. also I'm talking on the phone yeah. and I'm reliving a past that I, Sarita, haven't had. Um, and the words were so, I, I, it's odd to say, but for trauma, the words were so beautiful in that they were truthful, but also they were describing, like, I tell my daughter that I'm walking on a certain road mm -hmm. as this man is following me. I tell her the bridge, 
I describe things and I remember thinking, oof, I have to be very careful not to get swept up in this story because this story is my story. Um, and I, I remember practicing telling stories of my past just to get that, that right tone or that, um, that feeling of how hard it is sometimes to tell someone that you love something about your past. Definitely. You know, the movie is very thrilling and it's kind of chilling at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, how, how important was it for the creators and you to not make it necessarily super horror, but to have like a thrilling aspect to it where you're basically wondering the whole time what is going on? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so I feel like we shot this movie as if it was a normal independent movie where the plot at times turns a certain way. And we had to keep track of, like if I had a moment where I was like, oh no, I had to really be real in being shocked, but also I didn't want to overplay it because so much more was coming. And I remember thinking in real life, when we're shocked or something huge happens, sometimes we go really quiet and our temperature changes. And I just remember thinking, I need to play this out slowly. So by the end, and I don't want to give away the end, yes. that is allows for the big explosion. Yes. I was so shocked in the end, I have to say, and I hope all of the viewers of ITV Gold watch it on October 13th. That is uh, all the time I have for you today, Sarita. I would love for you to give one last message uh, to our South you. Asian audience. Uh, well, first of all, I'm so proud. Like, I feel like Blumhouse, you know, did that movie Get Out, which I loved. And when they um, wanted this movie, I remember just thinking, oh, this is a movie for all of us South Asians. And I... I'm just glad to share it with you all. And I feel very moved and proud to bring this story um, to a worldwide audience. Yes, of course. We are super, super, super proud of you and all of I'm the actors. I'm so glad.